Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday about 6.30 p.m. and we're going to hang out for a little bit. We have a few couple things to do. Um, let's go over our glow up calendar. I want to show you guys what we've added. Um, I don't know if I clearly went over what I added yesterday. Yesterday I added um, to get a massage, which I did yesterday, and that's not going to be a daily occurrence, obviously, it's too expensive. But maybe once every couple months. I just wanted to put it on the glow up so it's there on paper, so every once I, in a while I can read it and be like, oh, let me book myself a massage maybe. So that's that was there, and the hair masks, the hair masks that I did yesterday that looked like somebody threw up on my head. Um, the next one, I'll tell you guys, the next one I do will probably be on Tuesday. I'm not going to use flaxseed anymore. That flaxseed took forever to get out of my hair. And even after the shower, I was still combing out flaxseeds from my hair. Um, the ones that, that didn't um, completely get ground up, they're really hard. They're kind of sticky when they get wet. They were really hard to get out of my hair. And I thought I would go to work today looking like I have fleas or some kind of parasites on my head. But no, eventually they came out, but I'm not going to use flax again. So today... We're adding two things, and I actually started um, playing with this a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm going to start working on forgiveness um, uh, for myself, um, for the mistakes that I've made, for the things that I just can't change about my life that I've been through. So forgiveness for myself and forgiveness for others for the things that maybe happened to me that I will never get a, an apology for. So those are the things I just gotta let go of and learn how to forgive. Um, I just looked up for the first time today forgiveness affirmations and I actually didn't know that that existed but of course it exists everything exists on YouTube so um, this afternoon I kind of like meditated for 20 minutes or so um, when I first got home from work and in the background I was listening to forgiveness affirmations and it was interesting I'm gonna definitely get into that more so with um, positive affirmations Gratitude affirmations, now I'm adding forgiveness affirmations of myself, of my wrongdoings, of the past that I cannot change, and of the wrongdoings that I feel happened to me that I will never get an apology for. Forgiveness of others. And what we're doing tonight, I wanted to make a healthful snack, and I want to, um, a sweet snack. I've been getting a big, bit of a sweet tooth every day around 2 p.m. when I have my cup of coffee, my afternoon cup of coffee. I've been craving something sweet. So I decided to get into some um, healthful, sweet snacks. And this is what we're going to be doing today. The first snack that we're going to make is um, cacao date energy balls. They're going to be little balls. I'm going to roll them. I'm, I'm going to show you. It's very, very few ingredients. Very simple. Vegan. Um, no sugar added. The only sugar is from the medjool dates. And um, I'm going to roll some of them in sesame seeds, which I have ready here for rolling, and some in coconut flakes. They're good. They're both very good. Um, a little uh, boost of energy, I would say. That do, it doesn't. These cacao balls do not call for anything um, for them to be rolled in anything. But I decided to. I think they'll be prettier too. So we'll make them and we'll refrigerate them. We'll refrigerate them overnight. And I'm going to bring a couple for myself tomorrow for my 2 p.m. coffee break. And I'm going to make um, take a few for my patient who will love them because he loves dates. He eats dates every day. So this is like a different way for him to get his dates in. So let me show you what we're going to need. Um, I doubled the recipe. So this originally called for half cup of almonds, but this is one cup of almonds. One cup of walnuts two cups of old-fashioned oats, uh, a quarter cup of cacao, but I'm trying to get more cacao into my life um, without actually making a shake out of it because I'm not a fan of chocolate. So I pushed the quarter cup to six tablespoons of a cacao, half a teaspoon of salt, and a cup and a half of chopped dates. That's it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to take you over to the food processor and we're going to pulse. We have to pulse the nuts, the oats, and the cacao and salt together. So they're very, very fine, but they still have a texture. You don't want to blend them to the point of being all, like uh, nut butter. And then we're going to add, um, when they're like kind of uh, just a small, fine kind of a texture, then we're going to add the dates and um, um, 
process them until they're like a sticky paste. So then we can roll them. So let me take you guys over here.